Hello there everyone and welcome back to a new vlog on my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. It is currently Saturday the 24th of June, which only means one thing. It is my birthday weekend. Tomorrow I turn 24 and I'm not really doing that much to be honest. It's going to be more of a low key one, but I figured I would still film it for you, document the memories. I'm going out for a nice meal. We've got some activities planned tomorrow. So it should still be really nice. So I'm looking forward to a bit more of a relaxed, chilled out birthday. Having said that, it is currently 10 to 9 and I am at the gym. I'm sorry. <laughs> Who is this girl? I honestly have no idea. I basically signed up to the gym last week and since then I've been to my induction session. I've had a PT session which you kind of get for free because they give you um, like one session where you get a program. They show you how to use all the machines. So I've got a little program that I could follow if I wanted to. But today I'm here for a class. I'm going to do a group cycle class which I think is also called a spin class. I honestly have no idea what it really is other than riding a bike. But I'm going to go in there. I'm gonna see what it's like see what it's all about and i won't take you with me massively but i will try and take you with me a little bit i'll at least check in with you at the end and let you know how i found it but yeah i thought i would document my birthday weekend and this is kind of where we start in so welcome to today's vlog please don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below before we begin and other than that i best head into my gym class <laughs> how weird <laughs> After the gym I came home to freshen up before heading into town with Charlie as we could get some lunch together and she could do some of the last minute birthday shopping that she needed to do. I've just come into Waterstones to see if there's anything left of the sale and there is but obviously the shelves aren't full and I think the reason why is because at the moment all of them are 50% off the marked price so there's not much here but I am going to have a browse and hopefully I can find one or two things. I know this sounds too good to be true, but after getting to the till in Waterstones, the lady told me that all of the sale books were now reduced to a pound. So I was so happy and spent the rest of my time in towel processing that whilst people watching on the fountain, waiting for Charlie to come and get me. So my original intention was to film this clip after getting back from town, but I ended up having a little bit of a laze around and then ran out of time to get ready. So we left in a bit of a rush. So I have actually been out and it is now like half past 10 on the evening, but I figured I would slot this in now before explaining to you my evening plans. It will all make sense in the end. But what I was supposed to say is that I've just got back from town um, and I wanted to show you a book haul of what I got in Waterstones. So the first one that I got is My Name is Salma and I have seen this before, but I wasn't desperate to pick it up. So I'm really glad that I got it now because I thought it was 150 and now it's a pound and it's in amazing condition. So I'm really happy about that. I then also got The Last Girl to Die by Helen Fields. I've never heard of this before, but it just sounded interesting. It's about a family that moved to Scotland and then their daughter went missing. Unfortunately, she was found no longer alive, but it was in kind of suspicious circumstances. So it launches a big mysterious murder case. I then got... <laughs> I'm really happy about this. I've got Working Hard or Hardly Working by Grace Beverly, and this isn't one that I've ever been able to justify paying a big price for because I don't think I'm going to properly read it. I feel like this for me is going to be a bit more of a skim read, but I have followed Grace Beverly since she was literally in uni. You always used to watch her uni vlogs and follow her uni advice, and so I was quite interested in at least having a flick through this, but now knowing that I got it for a pound, it's even better, so I can't complain about that. I've got small pleasures. I've literally seen this everywhere all over the book groups that i'm in all over tiktok and i had a quick read of the blurb because i honestly had no idea what it was about i just knew that it was popular and i won't lie if it wasn't a pound i wouldn't have picked it up but i just thought for the condition that is in and for the price i will give it a go i then also got 
How to Live When You Could Be Dead by Bow Babe. Um, and I've always kind of had this in my mind. It's been on my Amazon wish list for a while. And upstairs I saw it for 10 99 on like buy one, get one half price. And I did pick it up because I thought, oh, I might treat myself to that. You know, it's my birthday. But then I found it downstairs in hardback. And I'm not really a hardback girly, but I just thought, I can't really justify paying 10 99 when I could be paying much less. I feel like I've saved the best till last. I got The Betrayal of Anne Frank by Rosemary Sullivan. And I believe this is all about kind of who dubbed Anne Frank in. That's such like <laughs> a weird way of saying it. No one actually knows, but I think this just investigates it. I didn't really read the blurb. I just looked at the front and I was like, yes. But those are basically all of the books that I picked up from the Waterstone sale. Anyway, I feel like I've been rambling for quite a long time on this, so we'll skip to the next part of the vlog that I filmed earlier on today. Okay, I'm not entirely sure to how much time has passed since I last spoke to you guys, but it's now just coming up to six o'clock and we are actually on our way over towards Leicester because I'm going out for a birthday meal with all of my mum's side of the family. So there's about 12 of us all together if my brother's girlfriend comes, but I'm not entirely sure if she is or not. We'll find out when we get there. So I'm actually quite excited. The reason we're going to Leicester is to go to Pesto, which is one of my favourite Italian restaurants. What's he taking a photo of? Look, see that? Yeah. <laughs> um, it was one of my favourite Italian restaurants. But we usually go to the one in Hinkley, which is a bit closer to home, obviously. However, they didn't have availability for 12 people. So instead of going somewhere else, I am too stubborn and we decided to go to the Leicester one instead but I'm really excited I feel like I'm waffling a little bit but as you can see I've got balloons in the back because Charlie bought me a big golden two and four today so that I've got a little 24 somewhere in my lap or in my bag here I've got a little happy birthday headband to wear so I'm feeling quite special tonight which is quite nice I've got this little cardi on I am waffling so basically I'm going out for a meal with my mum's side of the family and I will bring you with me and show you what I end up ordering but yeah let's go. Good morning guys it is the big two fall it is just coming up but it's just gone past nine o'clock in the morning and I'm all up and ready actually I've got myself like fully dressed. Charlie's just making me stand at the top of the stairs while she goes downstairs to make sure that it's all safe so i will wait for my cue i'll probably just take a little seat <laughs> i don't feel like there's much to catch up on because i will have inserted hopefully a few pictures from the meal last night i completely forgot about my phone once i was in there and i didn't film anything or take any pictures myself so there won't really be many clips but it was really lovely just to be a bit more in the moment catch up with everyone especially people that i've not seen in a slightly longer time like my auntie and my uncle it was nice to see everyone so i had a really lovely birthday meal so if any of my family are watching this and thank you for coming um and now i suppose i'm just waiting for my signal to to go down and then we'll see what it's all about start opening up some cards and presents so that i can start replying to people's messages and saying thank you for you know what they've given me um, and then we'll see where the day goes from there. We are going strawberry picking this afternoon, which I'm very excited about. I feel like my signal is here. Hello. Hello. Are you ready? I am ready. Is it safe? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> here we go. Ah, oh, it's gold and white to match my big balloons. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, baby. Writing, I reckon Lauren's done that. Yeah, oh, I knew it. Do tell you happy birthday, lots of love from Lauren and Lucy with the writing on the front. Mm. That's cute. Yeah, <laughs> you look so excited. Have you looked in the bag? I did see what did you see? And what they had at the donut stand. Yeah, what the hell? We literally were talking about that yesterday. <laughs> That's incredible. What, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> <laughs> Yay! That's nice. It's a nice wooden one. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> baby, no, I'm going to cry. You need one or a new spot. No, but I didn't need that. 
you don't ever need anything. It's nice to have nice things. It will track your skin workouts better. Really? Yeah. Special birthday, you deserve it. I don't think I'm going to film what I got for my birthday this year, but I still wanted to show you some of the things that I got. So, I've obviously got lots of beautiful cards which you would have seen me opening, and there seems to have been a little bit of a bounty theme because my nanny and granddad gave me two little bounty bars wrapped up, and then my auntie bought me bounty dessert sauce. I then got some chocolates and things from my brother. Uh, next voucher somewhere in one of these cards is a h&m voucher from my mom my sister got me loads of this like tea tree stuff which i use we all know i'm a big tea tree person charlie's dad and his girlfriend got me some perfume and they also got me a new backpack because mine's been broken for ages and I'm definitely due an upgrade. I don't know why I'm struggling to breathe so much, but then Charlie got me Connect Four. I got this little stacker's jewellery box, which has got enough room for like two rings and a little necklace. Because when I go away, like through airport security, I always panic that I'm putting my engagement ring just in a random place. So it's nice to have this to travel with because I can do my engagement ring, my wedding ring. And then a little necklace in there if I want to travel with them. I also then got some packing cubes. And if you cannot see from my wrist, Charlie very naughtily bought me an Apple Watch and made me cry. <laughs> Aside from that, a lot of my family have given me money, cards, sent me nice birthday messages. So thank you to everyone that's like wished me a happy birthday and got me a little something to go with it. I really appreciate it. Don't know what it looks like. The TV is jumping in the camera. It's not doing that in real life. But I'm now going to spend a little bit of time setting up my Apple Watch. And then afterwards, we're going to have some lunch because in the afternoon we're going strawberry picking like I said so we need to eat lunch a little bit earlier today happy birthday to you Pembroke happy city palm Pembroke happy city Woo! make a wish oh I don't know what to wish for <laughs> that was close that's the most beautiful cake I've ever seen. And just like that, we're ready for strawberry picking. Okay, we are back from the strawberry picking. I've got us a slice of cake and I wanna show you how cool my cake is, so let me turn you around. So as you would have seen, it was already really beautiful from the outside, but look at the inside of it. The icing in the middle is matching the outside of the cake. It's like pink, blue and yellow pastel. It's got some jam. I really like it. Well, I don't know if I like it, but I like the look of it. So hopefully the taste matches. We're now gonna sit down and I know it's a little bit early, but we are about to watch a movie called The Upside. I saw this on TikTok the other day like a little spoiler of it and i really like the look it's on amazon prime so i'll let you know what we think once we've finished it a few moments later the movie was really good i would highly recommend if anyone's got amazon prime watching it it's not usual for me to like watch a movie and not get distracted throughout and be on my phone loads but i actually just paid attention to it and really enjoyed it We've now ordered McDonald's and I've got some bits off the new menu so I'm going to show you what I've got. Okay, so it's not looking the best but here I've got the new um, chicken Caesar wrap. I got it crispy because I don't really like it grilled. I then also got the new mozzarella bites. I'm not usually a massive fan of all of their cheese bites but I thought I would give them a go. Just in case I don't like what I've got, I ordered six chicken nuggets but if I like my wrap, child is going to eat these because she only got a salad. Let's go. It's nice, but I don't think I've really hit the Caesar sauce yet. I've then got the mozzarella balls, and I think these were supposed to come with a tomato dip, but I didn't see it in the bag, so we will give one a go without. They actually look quite nice. Look, like, a good size, like, nice and crispy. Let's see. I don't think those are really for me. They'll be a little bit nice with sauce, and... 
I will eat some of them, but I don't think I would order those again. 